You're watching the Bayou Blitz, brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, hi there. Week 8 of the Bayou Blitz is already here, and our Game of the Night features two division rivals locking heads tonight in Scott. News 15 Sports Director and our real raging Cajun, Will Heron, has the big matchup between Southside and Acadiana. The Sharks show up here in Acadiana, 5-1 and one without a loss in the division. Well, Acadiana, 6-1, also no losses in their division. After this game was over, someone walks away with the ding on the record. I spoke with the players earlier today, and both of these teams have been wolfing it up and chomping at the bit to get this game started. First quarter, first drive, and we have Trixie's. Caden DeBetta tosses it to Cohen DeBetta, who also tosses it to a wide open Jaden Broussard, who starts the game with the touchdown. After a shark penalty on the extra point, and Katie Anna decides to make it a two point conversion as Jonah Gauthier punches it in. Southside would be forced to punt on their next drive, so Tatum Collins rips off a 60 yard scamper before being taken down. Gauche would smash his way back into the end zone for a second score of the first quarter. Sharks trying to take a bite out of this one. Parker dies, keeps it, and gets the offense into the red zone, but the drive would falter. Second quarter, much like the first, Collins takes the pitch, shrugs off the tacklers, finds some room on the near sideline, and my man turns on the turbos for the tutty. Rams up 22 to nothing. Southside said, we can do that old halfback pass thing. And they did. Ramon Singleton airs it out to a wide open Cade Fontenot. Goes 70 yards to get the Sharks finally on the board. The Rams were all over the Sharks in the second half. Just like the first half, your score 43 to 10 out here in Acadie. And it looks like they've wrapped up their division. I'm your real Raging Cajun for the Bayou Blitz again here at Acadiana. Will Heron, News 15. Thanks, Will. Another big game tonight is a rematch of last year's state championship. The Cecilia Bulldogs headed to Opelousas to face off against the Tigers. No love loss between these two programs. News 15's Dracar Francois is live in Opelousas. Dracar, this was a really close game. Well, yeah, Jeff, of course it's going to be a close game when you have two powerhouses in 4A District 5. Uh, district here in the state of Louisiana. Now guys, uh, these two teams come into this contest undefeated and behind their two leaders on the Bulldogs, it was Diesel Solari and on the Tigers, the Appaloosa Tigers, it was Deshaun Ford and both of them are dynamic in the run game and that's exactly what both of the teams would do. On the first drive for the Appaloosas, Tigers, Cody Major takes the handoff and brings it in for six, and the Tigers strike first. A couple plays later on their next drive, Zach Malvo takes the snap, keeps it, and brings it in for six. The Tigers didn't attempt the pass in the first quarter, but the Bulldogs would. Late in the first, Diesel Solari mishandles the snap, picks it up, and heaves it to Brent Gordon Jr., and he brings it in for six. Not in the second, both teams turn the ball over. Cecilia would turn that into six, and head coach for the Tigers say this play isn't acceptable. Same thing we talked about in practice. We get busted plays, man. We get tricked out of our position. Uh, guy fall on the ground, get up wide open in the middle field. Guys coming out of cover. We just got to clean up our mistakes, man, and this game shouldn't even be close, man. And those mistakes were cleaned up in the second half. The Tigers will come out and score two touchdowns, including a safety on the, the defensive side of the ball as they take this one 28 to 27, and they remain undefeated in 4A District 5 play. For the Bayou Blitz and Opelousas, I'm Dre Carr Francois, News 15. All right, thanks, Dre Carr. Off to VC, where the Screaming Eagles had uh, homecoming tonight. The pretty girls out, dressed to the hill. 8 0. VC hosting 5 and 2 Opelousas Catholic first quarter VC quarterback Jonathan Dartez with a short yardage run PAT's good Eagles up 7 nothing a little bit later in the first quarter Dartez another short yardage touchdown run the PAT's no good it's 13 to nothing Eagles OC would eventually get on the board in the second quarter uh, going down a couple touchdowns quarterback Rowan Bergeron finding Roderick Tizino coming up here with a nice touchdown pass the uh, 
PAT is good. It's 13-7 at this point. A little pitch and catch there. After a VC turnover, uh, Dartez would actually rip off another long touchdown run. VC goes up 21-7. Then they get a turnover. VC turns it over. OC gets the ball back right before the half. Bergeron, another touchdown to Maurice Maisel. Eagles led 21-14 at the half. They win by the final of 50-21. to they stay unbeaten and move to 9-0. Let's check out some other scores from the area tonight on the Blitz scoreboard. Karen Crow with a close when they beat Sulphur 26-21. And STM all over Rain, 61-0 shutout win there. LCA all over Welsh, 43-7. For more scores, go to our website at kadn.com. The Bayou Blitz was brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings.